What's up, YouTube? I know it's been a while. Been quite busy with work. Xander is, uh, you know, been busy living the lizard life. And we wanted to get back to you guys. Uh, this week's video is going to be short little feeding. We actually already started this video with uh, a quail and a rat. And somehow my, uh, my video stopped recording. So he actually just already ate one of each. And now we're going to feed him one more. Uh, today's going to be an example of a bulk day. I know you guys have asked questions in the past about uh, how much I feed him and how often, what type of feeding schedule I have him on. Bam! Nailed it. Nom, 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 nom. But I know you guys have asked about the feeding schedule in the past and how we have it set up. And the primary thing you want to know is that I don't have a, a perfect art to this, right? Water monitors eat a ton of food. Sometimes you got to feel it out. But just to be clear, I, I don't have an actual schedule that I write down every day what I feed, when I feed, how much I feed. I just really pay attention to Xander's activity levels and when he's just slightly hungrier than when he, he is on a normal, normal basis. So, so to kind of kick it off, for this size of a rat, this is a large rat, and the quail that, that Xander just ate was a two-week-old quail. Um, just now, you know, feeding one rat and two quail, I have one more rat, I'm going to feed him. This would definitely be considered a larger size average meal. Um, we're going to go ahead and, and grab him the, the rat right now just while I talk so you guys can be, be entertained by the big guy. We'll make him, make him work for it. If I can get it out of the bag, here we go. Woo! <laughs> Got him. He almost caught me on that one. Ah, get that rat. Get that rat. But yeah, with, with two large rats and two quail in one sitting, this is what we would call a bulk day. So I'm not going to feed Xander for about two to three days. And then I'll go back to regular feeding regiments, which would be equivalent to like one quail and one rat, or maybe three or four hard boiled eggs, or half a fillet of, you know, tilapia, or salmon, or trout. You guys name it, you guys have seen it on my channel before. We'll feed a pretty, pretty big variety of food. So you can see right now his. His belly, after swallowing these, is kind of dragging on the ground. Give it about, you know, three days, and it won't be anymore. The only reason it looks kind of bloated right now is he just swallowed all that food. Same reason why his throat's a little puffier than normal. He's still pushing some of that down. So that's, uh, like I said, a big meal. Just wanted to cover that. But even after just feeding Xander, I can show in my hand. I can show in my fingers. I can tap right here, and Xander knows that this is... This is not food. He's learned how to respect the hand over time, which I really appreciate and makes me feel really safe around this giant dinosaur of mine. But uh, yeah, let's get to it. So pump systems. You guys have been asking, hey, how do I have the, the tub and pump set up? A couple things that I want to clarify first. Um, and I'm actually going to turn off the pump so you guys can hear a little bit better here in a moment. But let me step back and I can show you guys. This tub technically is not as large of a body of water as I would personally suggest and as I personally want given the current size that Xander is, right? So Xander's about six and a half feet long. Um, he's pushing 40, 45 pounds by now and uh, he's really healthy. But with this size of a, a lizard, the size of a water monitor, he could definitely benefit from having a larger, uh, you know, tub right here. So my main project in the next two months is going to be to completely gut out this entire section and I will most likely keep the same plumbing and the the filter that's on the other side of this wall and the pump but instead of using a tub which limits me to only this particular space uh, you know I can only hold so many gallons in there in order to keep the water cleaner for him you have to uh, increase the total amount of water. So if you guys haven't heard the uh, phrase before, the solution to pollution is dilution. That means in order to dilute Xander's water, 
and make it more clean, less polluted. What was that, buddy? What was that? In order to make it less polluted, we need a larger source of water. Right now, this is actually really clean. There's just some dirt in the bottom, you know, no big deal. But uh, what's gonna happen is I'm gonna remove this entire tub and then I'm going to put, uh, I'll probably end up using plexiglass or actual real glass um, and I'll build a giant rectangle from the corners of where this tub is right now and it'll, it'll probably have to be really, really thick so nothing bursts. I'll have it reinforced with steel. I'm going to have my uh, cousin weld me a steel cage that goes around it and instead of the water only being stored in this area right here, this entire rectangle, this entire box right here is going to be his body of water and this will be... Uh, you know, see through. It's going to be transparent plexiglass or real glass. So that way I can actually see Xander deep diving down and, uh, and swimming around basically. But he'll still have this basic setup where he's got a ramp going up, a little shelf right here. Then this will be a big, big body of water and then his ramp to go up to the basking area. So once we get that set up, the big guy's going to love it. And uh, I'm really, really excited. Like I said, we're going to get that done. Get that done within the next two months. My goal is to do it by the end of um, by the end of February. So let me turn on the light real quick. And I'm going to turn off this pump and filter so it's not so loud. All right. So let me open the garage so you guys can actually see this. We'll have some light in here. All right. Good enough. All right, so if you guys did not know, Xander's cage, I built it in my garage. It's all insulated. I never ended up painting this side because no one ever sees it, but um, I actually have a pool system pump and filter. This, uh, this is a Hayward brand. You guys want to look at this right here? This is specifically what I'm using right now. I'll upgrade this over time too, but uh, depending on how long it lasts, but Hayward is a is a company that uh, makes this stuff for pools. So this sucker right here, I mean, we had a full-size pool at my parents' house when they got rid of it two years ago. Um, I asked my mom if I could keep all this equipment instead of her selling it, and she let me use this because I knew I was going to be using it, obviously, in a Xander's cage. So basically, to make this really, really simple, the pump is just designed to suck the water out of the tub, go into the pump, shoot all that inside of the filter. It comes up through the filter. This particular filter is a Hayward filter. It's got 300 pounds of sand inside. It's near damn impossible to move. And usually about once a year, yeah, once a year is pretty accurate. I empty out all the sand, I throw it all away, I buy brand new sand, and then the process restarts. And uh, that keeps his water clean on a regular basis. So I have to clean this out once a year. This is just the, uh, let me, there we go, change the lighting. This is just our flow valve. It sets it up so that way we can rotate this um, 180 degrees. And instead of having the water circulate to be uh, cleaned <coughs> through all of our PVC piping that goes into the tub, if I put it this way and I turn the filter, sorry, not the filter, turn the pump back on down here, then this is going to shoot out all of the water to drain the tub through this PVC. This is our overflow, um, you know, valve. I attach another PVC pipe so I can shoot the water way out there into uh, the grass, um, you know, circle of life. But this is specifically just to drain it. So I use this um, to get specific. Every every other week, what I'm doing is I'm draining Xander's entire tub. I'm flipping this valve around the way that it's oriented right now, turning the pump back on, and then it shoots all of the water out of this PVC pipe out there into the grass. And while I'm doing that, I actually have the hose inside of the tub running on full blast. So it's filling it up as it drains. And what that does is it basically back flushes the filter to kind of clean it out. Um, so that way it lasts longer and I only have to empty this entire thing out once a year. Cause like I said, it's, it's a pain in the butt. Um, you know, I have to have like three people helping me just to move this thing off the stand it's on. Cause like I said, it's 300 pounds and it, there's no handles on it anywhere. So it's really hard to grab. 
So that's how I clean it on a bi-weekly basis. On an annual basis, we empty out all the sand, put in brand new sand, seal this sucker back up, make sure that there's no leaks anywhere, because um, obviously that could cause a lot of damage. So for right now, just to put this back the way that it's supposed to, I'm gonna rotate this around and it's really stiff. There we go, this is how it's supposed to be. And then the rest of how I have this set up is I have it on a timer. So the way I have Xander's cage set up is this runs for um, 30 minute intervals throughout the day. There's four 30 minute intervals. So for a total of two hours, uh, Xander's pump runs. If I run it more than that, my electric bill spikes a pretty decent amount. I already pay quite a bit in electricity for Xander's cage. The pump probably adds, you know, 30 bucks a month to my electric bill and that's only running it two hours a day. The rest of my electric bill is actually mostly from these bad boys. Um, the heat emitters are 250 watt heat emitters each and I have three of them. They run 24 seven and it's, uh, let me shut the garage because it's so windy outside. It just, it really jacks up my power bill, um, which, which sucks. It is what it is. Um, I probably end up paying closer to like 60, at least $60 a month just to power Xander's entire cage, basically. And uh, hey there, buddy. Hey there. And a lot of that's just trial and error. You know, it's figuring out what works, what doesn't work. What do you got to do to bump up the humidity? Got to use humidifiers sometimes, depending on how well the cage is built. I have two running. I just bought a third that's actually going to replace this one because this one's old. And these things run sometimes 24-7. So, um, let me get this out of your way. Oh, all right, he's not going to let me do that. Well, whatever. So, uh, so yeah, so that's my pump and filter setup. Xander loves it. Keeps them active. Also, when I'm not here in the, you know, cage, hanging out with them, which I do every day, um, because the filter kicks on and this is circulating the water it makes quite a bit of noise and it swashes the water around so it actually increases Xander's activity levels which I really appreciate but um, yeah that's pretty much it for uh, this week's video like I said that's how I have the uh, pump and filter set up but uh, you know it works really really well for the time being I just really want to increase the, the size and the amount of the water so it really allows Xander to swim a lot more. Once I, uh, once I end up getting a different house with more space in the future, what I'll end up doing is I'll get him a full-size pond, um, which I'm really excited for. I'll build him a pond and a waterfall and go the whole nine yards, probably spend a couple grand on it, no, no problem. Drop a couple Gs on Xander, throw some money at the, that scaly boy. But uh, yeah, if you guys have any questions, any comments, go ahead and uh, leave them below. You know, you can shoot us a direct message if you ever want. If you guys haven't already seen the channel, which I'm sure most of you have, you can always follow us on Life of Xander on Instagram and uh, stay tuned for daily posts and videos. And if you guys have any specific requests for what you want us to cover on these YouTube series, which uh, obviously we can spend more than 60 seconds at a time doing, because YouTube's not limiting me on the uh, the length of a video, which makes it really convenient, then definitely let us know, man. Um, this channel's here for your entertainment and education, and we can really answer as many questions as we can and, and help you guys out in case anyone's considering an Asian water monitor like uh, the lovely one and only Xander the Monitor. So we really appreciate all the lizard love, guys. Hope you all have a wonderful day, and we'll see you in the next video.